Hello, this is Founder Lay Rune, and I am here um, going to show you Fantasy Grounds Unity Beta Part 1. Um, basically, this is going to be a tutorial just kind of talking about layers. And one of the things that you can do with layers is actually exclude certain parts of your images and maps, depending on, on what kind of images you're working with. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. Um, in Classic, you had your Maps, and then you had Tokens folder. In Unity, you have you have your Assets folder, and that have, pretty much contains all of your different artwork. So you have Tokens, you have Portraits, and Images. So today I'm going to study and go into Images. And you can see I already have a big collection of different things. Um, but what I want to do is add my own folder for my own custom art. A lot of these come with other modules and such. They're already embedded. So I want to click on the folder button on the very bottom. And when I open that up, it's basically blank. There's nothing there. So I'm going to right click and add my my own um, assets folder, which you cannot see because it's in my on my hard drive. But basically I'm adding a folder called ship. And now it makes a campaign folder. So whereas before, this campaign folder wasn't there. So until you add your own custom images, that will not appear until you've done so. So the next step is I'm going to open up the campaign folder. And now here's my subdirectory of ship. So this is going to have my images that I'm going to work with. So when I open this up, now it will open up the library. It might take it a couple minutes because it's got a course through. So here are my collections of photos that I'm going to work with. So in this case, I have several different um, iterations of the boat. And this one here on the bottom where it doesn't have any water, I actually took a Photoshop and cut the water around it so that it can lay on top of this other ship where it looks like it's moving. So I'm going to use this bottom... Uh, image that has a shadow on it as my bottom and then I'm gonna layer different layers so that you can see the um, excluding so we're mainly gonna focus on layers uh, in part two I go into more into the line of sight so here I'm going to open up the maps and images uh, icon or banner I'm gonna use the drop down here and I'm gonna create my own category the reason I do this is for uh, organizational purposes so I'm gonna call this one ship actually I'll just call it pirate ship and now I have my own category this will be my clean slate now what I'm gonna do is click the edit button and click the green plus button and that adds a blank image so there's really nothing there but the background. So once I name it, it will update the name of the image. So for lack of a better title, I'm just going to put pirate, pirate Ship. I'm going to lock it for a second and then reopen it, and it will create this other cell where you can give it a different name, and maybe you're just going to call it Galley. And then you can hide the, the ID, which is the pirate ship. And maybe you're going to describe it as a galley first. You know, that way they doesn't give away the information right away. And now what I'm going to do is drag over the asset that I want to use. So the base is going to be this water that has a shadow or like this hole cut out in it. And I'm going to go to layers mode, which is where... I want to drop this so I'm in on the top here there's these two squares this is layer mode so I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this in here and once I've done so I'm gonna zoom out so I can see and as you can tell it's this is one big layer it's a pretty large size tile and since this thing is kind of more horizontally uh, oriented I'm going to kind of stretch this out so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so once I have that down, um, I'm not going to put the 
the tiles on it just yet because I don't know what's what's on the ship. So I'll put the tiles on after I put the ship down. But for right now, this is the tile I want to put on there. And then you can click over here to the right and it puts the lock symbol. So now it won't move on you anymore. So that's important if you're building a big map. Now the next step is I want to add the reflective water layer. So this is an effect. So you don't go up to effects first. You actually add an effects layer. So I'm going to click on the effects button, which is on the very bottom corner on the bottom left in the tools window. Hopefully this will help you guys out a little bit, get started. And at the moment, I'm waiting for Fantasy Grounds to load up, giving it a couple minutes to think. Um, you got to uh, be patient with it because it's still beta. Uh, there's still a little bit of memory optimization that has to happen. So bear with it, you know, just play around with it, get used to it. Um, Get to know its quirks and, and its uh, strengths and weaknesses. That's that's the best offer of advice that I can give you. A lot of times the assets you load will have a lot of, uh, of issues because they are too big or perhaps you got too many of them. So you still have to kind of be cautious as to how much uh, memory you're using, even though you have access to more memory, it doesn't necessarily mean you can go crazy and just add whatever. So you still should use the best practices that you used with uh, Classic. Although you can get away with slightly higher resolution images, but I wouldn't recommend going any larger than a certain uh, dimensions, which at one point was 2048 by 2048 for horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to go into the maps now, and I'm going to add this, this effects layer. And now I have this layer here on top, which is where I want it. I don't want it beneath the boat or the shadow. I want it above. So I'm going to click on the effects. And I'm going to go to the effects button up here on the top, the tool, and I'm going to select water. And as you can see, you got this crazy rippling effect. So that's kind of what I wanted. It kind of makes the waves look like they're moving. And I don't know if you can hear the seagulls in the background, but I put that in there for a little bit of ambiance. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to... So I'm going to add another layer to this. This time I'm going to add the actual boat. Now this is the one where I cut the water out from behind. So as you can see, this now is sitting on top of the map. It's way too big. It's like 184 by 57. So I'm going to shrink it down to fit that shadow area. So I'm going to go with about 40. And that actually scales it down. And I'm in selection mode in the layers mode. And now I'm going to move the ship around. And you can see that's a little bit small. So let's try 50. Maybe one more. There we go. So I changed the scale to about 60. Like before, it was like two something, or it was a big number. So, so that looks a little bit better. You got the shadow right here, and the boat is sitting on top of that layer where the water is, and it kind of makes it look like these waves are moving, which is kind of cool. So now the next step is, let's say you wanted to add something to the deck. So I'm thinking like maybe a coil of rope. Yeah, a coil of rope sounds pretty good. So I'm going to take a coil of my assets and add it to this. So again, I'm going to go to my assets folder 
But since I'm already in this folder itself, um, it's okay. I, I can leave this folder because I don't need anything else out of it. But I would have done all my work first before I left. But in the assets window, I can click this up arrow and it takes me to the index. Now I want to make sure I'm in images mode first. So I have that selected. And I'm going to type rope. And lo and behold, there's some different things that kind of have that keyword in there. So I'm going to add this rope here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it over to the tiles. So I'm going to click on layers. Instead of having a selection tool, I'm going to go to the tile tool. And I'm going to drag this rope into the tile area. And that's basically a stamp. So now I have this tile up here in which I can rotate it or I can flip it, whatever you want to do with it before you place it. Then you go back to the map and you click where you want to lay it. So I'm going to put, probably put a rope down here by this uh, corner here. And as you can see, it's a little big in scale. It's at 5.1. So I'm going to scale it down to about 3.5. So now that I have it scaled down, I can click, and that's a little bit closer to where I want to be for size. And then if you want to flip it, like arrange it, you can use the degrees. So if you go to layers mode and you click on the rope, you can change the degrees and it will rotate the rope. If you want to do this by hand, you hold the shift key and drag one of these corners. So maybe I'll shrink it just a little tiny bit more. So I'm going to hold the shift key and drag one of these corners in. And there we go. So there's a rope. I saw some tracks up here. It looks like a pelican's uh, tracks or something like that. So maybe since we have birds and stuff flying around or seagulls or whatever, I'm going to put these tracks. They're a quadru... Yeah, so this is a brush, but I'm going to go ahead and use these for tracks. So I'm going to click on the tile tool again. This time I'm going to use... I'm going to drag the tracks over. And then once I click on it, I will see the scale... So I'm going to go click over to tile mode. And you can recolor these too. So you don't have to stick with the base color. You can actually recolor. But I'm going to leave black on there. So obviously those are way too big. See they can even go off the ship. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to go back to layers mode. And select the tracks. And I'm going to rein it into probably about two and a half. There we go. So we could have had a big pelican that that landed on the boat. So he probably took off or some kind of animal that went aboard the ship. So this is how you add your own assets if need be. Now the next step is I'm going to add a rain layer because I want it to rain now on the ship. So I'm going to go ahead and add another effects layer. So I'm going to click on effects down below. It puts another line here. And then I'm going to click on the effects uh, tool. And I'm going to select the effect I want to place on that layer. So I'm going to go ahead and do rain. And as you can see, I have this rain layer now. And then I'm going to add one more effects layer. So again, I'm going to click on this bottom on the effects layer. And I'm going to select the layer I want to put it on. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on mist, which is like clouds. There we go. So now what we're going to do is 
You can lock these other layers once you have them in place. That way they don't move on you. And voila, you got yourself a nice little scene here with the ship. So this is just a usage of the layer tools, like what you can do in layers. Now, if you have variations of the ship, you can add the sails or take them away or, you know, you can cut these with Photoshop. Um, I learned all this stuff from Zacchaeus. I was watching his video and also watching Smiteworks uh, tutorials. So if you like this and you need more of it, uh, check out their tutorials. They're on YouTube. They've been up for a while and they actually show you some good methods on how to alter and to create these pictures. So in usage, I would lock this, but before that I would change to play mode. And then if you had line of sight, you can actually click on line of sight mode, lock it, and then you would find a player character to test it out if you had line of sight enabled. But in this case, I do not. So I'll uncheck that. And this is what you can do with layers. Pretty cool, I like it. So again, this is part one of the line of sight series. Uh, this just gives you an idea of how to use layers, how to set up your library. And just remember the asset tools in retrospect here that uh, you want to be used to switching between different tools. So I went to assets and then you go to images and at the bottom, you go to your uh, folder, which is your, you know, in your on your hard drive, and you add your images in there, and maybe in subfolders. And then once you're there, you can click on the folder, and it will bring up your assets. And then you will add them either to a new image or an existing map, depending on what the situation is. And then make sure you organize your your assets, title them correctly, those sort of things to make things smoother for you. So I think that's all I got for, for right now. Um, we'll return another time to work on line of sight in video two. And hopefully this was helpful and I hope to see you around the community. Bye-bye.